So I'm going to do one more spoken piece and then uh, do some songs, which I think is what you guys came here for, perhaps. <laughs> so <clears throat> it's called The Queer in You. Once upon a new life, someone told you that you were born dirty. Someone told you that when you were squeezed from between the legs of your beautiful mother, you were already dirty, blood, water, newborn, open heart to be washed away, foreskin offed, first intimate touch, a knife, to imprint under artificial white lights, white coats, that to make it in this world, kid, you've got to cut away, cut and shape this organ, clean up your inevitable sin. First time in a long time, yesterday, I started to hate. I hate the big lie. I hate the over-muscled strong arm that saw you stop jumping rope and start playing football. I hate the boxed, but love the boxed in. Sweet young girl boys, poor things, starting to tell that lie. The box is bullshit. So many pushing and clamoring to occupy the same Kinsey Zero space, fit for 10% of us, maybe. For the first time in a long, long time yesterday, I really started to hate, started to hate the incessant sellathon, the vivid color, color idiot box that sells us black or white. I hate the channel that tuned you in, dropped you out of any body with emotion or sound with a beat. I bought into that lie one time. I reached to absolve my soul sisterhood, kicked the box of shit that split my mulatto mind down the middle. That's why I love the queer in you. The one who blushes at a party, flips her wrist talking to a boy, or a bold, grown man with earrings who flirts back, unaware, body language unrealized, over the heads of both of you, too far outside the wall of the box that divides your lips, your eyes. I love the queer in you, however unwilling he is to speak of his own beauty. I love the queer in your swiveling hips when you forget yourself and rock and roll and actually move. I love the queer in you because I hate the bland alternative, the cookie cutter dressed down shirt and tie man who believes he's doing all the right things. Then there's the patriarch you who gets stiff and annoyed, simmers just under rage when I speak of alternatives to marriage. The gnawing and lingering one who still believes that a good wife is sweet and home. Proud to assume your name would be better than this rebellious questioning, grassroots organizing, baggy khaki shorts wearing woman you try to know. This one who painfully, honestly, wants honesty over pleasant emotional lacquer, a good spontaneous fuck over a steady diet of missionary comfort. <laughs> this one who wants love over form. I love the queer in you who wrestles free when you least expect, when you least care for him to bat a long eyelash. The queer in you who sky is wider and who knows more than all the streamers and rice you could stomach. The suddenly fearful one who is terror paralyzed. The one who's been shamed away from cleaning his open wounds. The one who would hold a baby. The mothering man who can heal and will heal in an instant through lifetimes. I love the queer in you, the child, teacup brown eyes peeking out from under a lavender blanket, not yet boy or girl, white or black, gay or straight, love or hate, unmade, wiser than our flawed sculptor, America. So grow again, young again, with your original uncut body, and glide, no, prance along the green hill bell curve, undistorted, dress in your finest. I'll be there, crossing your path with my best dyke swagger. All right, thank you. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs>